you don't need to get fancy to find your own pottery voice. Which is why in this video, I'm gonna give you five boring pottery techniques that you can apply to your pottery today that to help you start finding your own style. This first technique is very simple. It doesn't matter if you're a wheel thrower, sculptor, or a hand builder. The most important thing when it comes to finding your own voice is shaping the pot. It doesn't, we all have to shape our pots. It doesn't matter what type of pottery you are, sculptor, wheel thrower, or a hand builder. Shaping your pot, and that is the one thing that we can control. Even if you're a beginner, even if you're advanced, the one thing we can control the most is the way we shape our pot. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be fancy, or it can be fancy if you want it to be. But the way we shape our pot is going to directly impact the way the, our pot looks like. So pay extra attention to the way you shape your pot. This second technique is very, very simple. All you got to do is take your cup, and give it a couple smacks, or press it against the table. And you get to the good, really good design. That's how the bottom looks like now. You can see it made it look very, very interesting simply by giving it a couple taps. You don't have to get fancy with it. You don't have to do something that is completely extra, extra right? You can do a something as simple as hitting it against the table or pressing it against the table. You can even give it a couple smacks. It doesn't matter. Keep it simple because you don't have to overcomplicate things. This next technique is very simple as well. It's all about just adding a few choice pieces of clay. Let me show you. So here I have my cup, and I have my old bowl to prevent it from warping. I simply rip apart the clay, add some water, I dip it in water, and I put it like this. And I just simply attach it, and it completely could change the way the, the cup will look like, simply by adding a couple bits of clay. Now you'll see it completely changes the way the, the cup looks like simply by adding four pieces of clay. I only added four pieces of clay and it completely changed the way the cup looked like. Completely. So don't make it complicated. Another simple way is just to simply add clay to the, to the cup. So this next technique is all about limiting the amount of colors you use. You know, sometimes we get so focused on adding so much color and so much color that sometimes the best solution to do is to actually limit the amount of color, limit the amount of things you're doing, because sometimes simple is the best. And you don't need to get all that difficult. So the colors I'm using, I'm using, going to be using three colors. So I'm going to use black, red, and yellow. I'm going to paint it on this cup, and we're going to see how it transforms. And it completely changes the way it looks. Just three colors, that's all it takes. So this last technique, it's also very simple. It's all about painting your rims and painting your, your butts, painting your bottoms. For me, I like to use black. Black is like my favorite thing when I'm painting about the bottom. So like here's, so here's kind of an example of one that didn't turn out. So this is a, a mug. So I painted it blue, white, but it kind of broke because you know it broke. But you can use whatever color you want. I my favorite ones are black. I think black ones look really really good. And how often do you see a painted bottom? Not too often, unless like a lot of times we're leaving the bottom unglazed. And it's okay, if you have underglazed, it's okay to paint them. But glaze, or like actual glaze, leave the bottoms as it is. But if you have underglaze, paint the bottoms. I, it's a very simple technique that transforms the whole pot. Let me show you. This is how it turned out after I added the black to the bottom and to the rim. It completely transforms it and it's such a simple thing that you can do. So 
those were the five super simple techniques that anybody could do to recap. Here's the recap. So number one is to focus on how you shape your pot. It doesn't matter how you shape it, but we, the one thing that we can all control is how we shape our pot. If you want to go simple, go simple. If you want to go more of a rounded pot, go do that. You can even do something that combines two different pots together. It doesn't matter what you do. Shaping is the way we all that's the one thing you control in Potter, whether you're a sculptor, wheel thrower, or handler. That is that. The second thing that you can do is hit the bottom or smack your pot against some surface. Sometimes this one simple motion can completely change the way your pottery looks like. See, for me, I like to hit, I like to just rub it against a table, the corner of a table. I think the bottoms look super great that way. The third tip is to add clay. You see, this pot completely changed when I added four pieces of clay. That's it, four pieces of clay, and it completely changed the way it looked. You don't have to get complicated with it. You can add as much as you want or as little as you want as well. Adding clay to the pot changes the way it looks. So that's the third tip. The fourth tip is to limit the amount of colors you use. For this, I only use three colors, yellow, red, and black. And by limiting the colors you use, it forces you to expand your knowledge. It forces you to get more creative simply because you have lack of resources. Even using lack of resources as well is gonna help you out tremendously. You don't need a bunch of resources. You don't need a bunch of fancy tools to make pottery. Limit the amount of stuff you have and more creativity starts to come about. And then finally, the last one is to paint your rims and paint your bottoms. Whatever it is you're doing, Doing this simple thing can completely transform your pot, or you don't have to do it at all. For me, I like to use black underglaze. I think black looks really good when it has, it's on the rim and it's on the bottom, or if I'm making a, a mug, it's on the, the handle of the mug as well. I think that looks really good, but you don't have to use black if you don't want to. You can use whatever color, you can mix colors, you can do whatever you want. And I just think this is a very simple way to finish off your pot. So those are the five super boring tips that anybody can use. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.